YouTube, it's Darling Craftalit here with another video. Yay! Today on Clean with Raven Wednesdays, I have another tutorial for you guys. It's my Mario inspired polymer clay pen. And I had planned to do cold porcelain this week, but unfortunately, I fell not once but twice at making it. So I am going to try again and try to get that video up next week. Um, for my tutorials, I don't typically try to make the items beforehand. I just decide to make something and I film it as I'm doing it. So I hope I explain it well enough and um, we're gonna get started with the supplies for the supplies I am gonna go through them fairly quickly I do have them all listed in the description box down below for clay you're gonna need a yellow color a white a sky blue a dark blue a black a red a brown a tan and a green you can use whatever brand you like um, and the other supplies you're gonna need some wax paper to protect your surface and then you're also gonna want to tape it down just so it doesn't move around when you roll your clay you're gonna need some baby wipes to keep your hands clean and to keep your clay clean very very important you're gonna be working with white you're gonna need a pen and some pliers to take off the ink part of the pen you're going to need a ruler this is optional I like to use a ruler to measure and w stop waste of clay and you're gonna need a rolling pin to roll out your clay you're also gonna need some blades and some ball tools and you're gonna need those cut and to paint and whatever else you want to paint these are some of the things I use you're gonna need a soft paintbrush and your glaze of choice and if you are going to paint you're going to need some acrylic paints or whatever paints you like to use when you're working with clay and then last but not least you're going to need something to stick up the pen just to hold it while you glaze it so you have somewhere to hold so I'm going to go over the instructions. Some of this is shown on screen, some of it isn't. I'm going to try to do as best I can. I had a lot of issues filming this and I had over an hour of footage. So I tried to make it go faster and stuff like that just so it wasn't a super long video. Um, so first you're going to take your pen and you're going to have to take out the ink part and you can use pliers for that if you want. Just so, because it can't go in the oven. Next you're going to roll out some of your yellow clay, whatever brand I'm using, Sculpey. And you're going to roll it out flat and I measured my pen beforehand I'm gonna want it at least one inch uh, long and then I'm wanting a one inch wide so I have that rolled out and then I checked it and I know I'm good I'm a little bit over that's fine set that aside now I'm gonna want to make a sky blue I don't have a sky blue clay so I'm just going to mix some white and blue and then roll it flat so it's the length of the rest of the pen and I'm going to create some straight edges and then roll it along the pen. And you don't want this super, super thick. Like the, you wouldn't want it any thicker than I have it there. And you should be able to just roll it really nicely on the pen. And then once you have it all the way rolled to the other side, then you want to cut off any excess and then blend it in. And then I blended in the sides and then I cut off the top and blended the top and filled it over on top. I said on top a lot there. Sorry about that. And that takes a little bit of time. It's a little bit tedious when you want to keep it clean. And that's what you look like. Now you want to add the bottom part. So you're going to cut off the tops here. And you do the exact same thing you did for the other one. And then you're going to put it in on the bottom. So don't worry if it's not too, too straight. You are going to be covering it up. And now you're going to take your extra yellow clay and you're just going to make little hills. So you're going to roll the oval and then you're just going to cut off the bottom to create some hills. And you're going to create a couple and you're going to put them all along the base here. Just a little bit off from the other yellow color you put. So then you put them around and they end up looking like that. Next you're going to take green and you're going to take a snake and you're going to make some grass and some bushes. And they're really simple to make. You're going to these ones are just circles and you put them all the way around in between the yellow spaces like that and then you can take your toothpick and you can texture the bushes if you wish you can take your grass that you created it's just a snake with some indents that's flattened sorry it went kind of fast there and then you're just going to attach it around the base there of the green bushes and then it'll end up looking like that and I think it turned out really good. And you're going to make sure you blend in the last, the, both ends of that. So you can't tell that they were there. Next, you're going to create some blocks for Mario. So I created two brown and one yellow. And these are just squares. You can use a cookie cutter or you can just do it by eyeball. I did it by eyeball just because I don't have a cookie cutter that small. And then you're going to line them up brown, brown, yellow. 
and then you can texture and you can make these any blocks you want I did this but I made the first one I made it more of the brick style and then the second one I put in some corner dots because this one's the one that you actually want to for surely have is your middle one you want it to be a brown with the four corner dots and then your yellow one you want to add the four dots too I'm going to paint a question mark on there later but you don't have to so then next you want to roll out some of the green you still have because you need quite a bit of it and you're going to create the vine so you're just going to put the log snake out there make a squiggly pattern and then you're wanting to add the leaves and you want them alternating back and forth slightly one above the other and little leaves and to make your leaves you just want to make a teardrop shape with your green clay and then again you're going to alternate going back and forth on there next you want to create the top of the vine the vine plant so you're going to create a circle and an oval circle shape and you're going to cut out a triangle at the one end and then you're going to pick it up and you're going to put it at the top of the vine and you just want to make sure it's stuck there fairly well you can fix up any loose edges and then you want to create the lips of the plant so you're going to roll out a log and then just make it a little bit thinner in the center and then you're going to fold it into a U shape and then put it onto the top of the flower plant And there we are. Next, you're going to want to create some cloud blocks for the sky. So you're going to take three circles of clay and then you're going to cut off the tops of them just like that and then you're going to make the bump at the bottom so I just take my ball tool and I'm just tucking in the center there and I'm squishing in the sides to make it a little bit more square and you do it to all three of them so then when you have three of them you're going to just put them around here like the vine is going through the clouds and you can put, just line them up just like that the next we're going to make uh, something to fly for through the sky you can make a turtle but I'm gonna make a bullet so I'm just going to cut off an the end of an oval shape of clay and then I'm going to create the back end of the bullet as well and I'm just making them a little bit separate just to make them more defined and then I'm just going to attach it there a little bit blend it in just a tiny bit and then I'm just going to take my ball tool and just blend them in a little bit more make it a little bit more defined and then I'm going to take some white clay obviously clean my hands in between I'm going to create a little U shape for the bullet's arm and put it on there and then I'm going to create the fist of the bullet just with a small circle of white clay and put it on there and then I'm going to pick it up and put it on to the clay pin just in the open space in the sky there and I think it turned out really cute there and then next we are going to make Mario you can make Luigi but all you have to do is just use uh, green clay instead of red and make him a little bit taller so for Mario, I didn't explain it very much, but you're going to make an oval for a head out of tan clay and add two circle ears. Don't worry about blending too much at this point. You're going to create two arms and then two uh, oval arms and then put red clay there for the the sleeves of the shirt and then you can create two blue circles of clay one a little bit higher than the other more like oval sorry for the two legs and you can create more of a teardrop shape for the body of Mario. And you're just going to make sure everything's attached there. And then you're going to add use some brown clay and add some feet for his shoes. You just roll up two little logs of clay and blend them in a little bit. <clears throat> and then you're going to want to indent his clothes. You, that's optional. I'm just adding the pockets and a little indent at the top. And I'm going to finish the top of his hair head. So you first want to take some black clay for his hair and make a circle shape and put it on top of the clay you have there for the head and then you're going to also make the hat so you're going to do the exact same thing except for a little bit bigger and poofier and you're going to put it on top of the black clay of his hair and then you're going to pick him up and you're going to put him on the clay pen on the vine wherever you like now I'm going to create a key to go on top of the clouds so you can create whatever you want you can create a mushroom but I just I really like the 
the Mario key holes. I just think they're really key cool. They make a cool sound when you open them. So I'm not gonna really explain how to make the key. You can make any Mario key you want. Like, as I said, you can put a mushroom up there, a star, a, mo a moon, three free men thing, whatever you want. So I created my key and I'm just right now just indented it to make it a little bit more straight edged like it would be in the game. And I'm just going to put it on the top of the clouds. And you can kind of see there a little bit. It's hard to keep it in screen sometimes. And then I'm going, because I created that, I have to create the keyhole. So I have the circle, a little circle flattened of clay. And then I'm going to create a triangle shape. And then I'm just going to reshape it to have a keyhole. And then I'm just going to place it right beside the key on top of the clouds. And I think that turned out really good. And now would be the time that you would want to bake. When you bake your pen, you probably want to bake around 260 degrees Fahrenheit, no matter what kind of clay that you use, just to ensure that your pen doesn't melt. And you want to bake it between 20 to 30 minutes in your oven. And so this is what my pen looks like afterwards. And now would be a time if you want to add any painted features you could. I'm not going to show me painting, but I'm going to show what I did. So this is what I did. I added some details to the hills, grass, and bushes. And then I also added stuff to the question marks. I added the eye on the bullet. I also added some extra clouds into the sky. I added faces onto the clouds and colored in a little bit of white on the key. I added some details to my plant and so now I it's time to glaze it. I use triple thick and I'm gonna use my soft brush just to glaze my pen and make, give, make it all nice and shiny. So this is the overall result of my pen and I think it just turned out absolutely amazing. I love this pen. I think it's gonna be more for an admiration of my house rather than actual functional use just because I wouldn't want it to get wrecked and I just think it turned out so super cute and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I do have some pictures here. Um, I'm sorry if this seems kind of rushed. As I said, like I had an obscene amount of footage and I did want to make this a really long video. And I, the pen does write, this is just proof. <laughs> but I had so much fun making this pen. As I said, like I did not know exactly what I was making going into it. I just sort of did it and filmed it as I made it. So I hope it was good enough for you guys. Just a reminder, I do have a giveaway going on, and if you missed it, I put a link to both it and the giveaway update in the description box down below. Make sure you read the entire description box on the giveaway video. Tune in on Saturday for Shining with Raven because I will tell you how you can increase your chances at winning the giveaway. And if you missed it last claim with Raven last week, I told you guys how you could increase your chances. You can still go do that. Go check out that video. I also put that link down below as well. Don't forget to check out my website for all my channel information and other goodies. Also, if you have time, I would love it if you would check out my collab channel, Lovely Crafty Ladies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I really want to do cold porcelain this week, but I failed twice and I'm running out of ingredients, so I'm getting more. And I really want to have that video uploaded next week. I want to say thank you to all my amazing subscribers. You guys are so supportive. It's insane. If you guys wish, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all soon. Until then, bye!